Hey brothers and sisters, I just have a message for you about unity in the church and how we should all be getting along in these last days and striving toward one goal. Um, let not there be divisions amongst us. I had a dream a couple years back that I'm going to remind you all of. Maybe some of you haven't heard it. It is a very powerful two dreams in a row which confirmed the other. So what I'm going to do is just pray quickly right now. Uh, dear Lord, may your Holy Spirit guide us in this Bible study. Lord, let your word be spoken and let your will be done with this Bible study. Let us all be in one accord, dear Lord, and let your body be united, not divided. In Jesus' name, amen. So let me just go over here to... Okay, so I'm, I'm on Bible study tools and the topic is unity. So I, I don't think this is King James Version. It doesn't say which version it is that I'm reading, but you can always go and look at it in King James, New King James, whatever version that you prefer. 1 Corinthians 1.10, I, pe I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly united in mind and thought. So, you know, our brother Chad, Watchman on the Wall 88, he posted a video about counter counterfeit Christianity. And in this video, he's talking about when we are truly converted to Christ, that we will start showing fruit, good fruit of the Spirit, and that the Holy Spirit will guide us to repentance. Um, Bro Chad often says that repentance in the relation to salvation is to change your mind about Jesus, um, but then also that the, the, the Holy Spirit will lead us to repentance, which is 100% true. I know that the Holy Spirit has led me to repentance because I want to do His will, and I'm not doing it so that I can remain saved. I don't get saved by Jesus and the blood of Jesus and then say, now I have to earn my way to heaven. Now I have to keep myself saved. No, we, we are trusting in the Lord. And let me go over to this verse. Um, Ephesians 1, 13, in whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. And Ephesians 4, 30, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. So we are sealed until the day of redemption. But there has been some comments to our brother and the once saved always saved brothers and sisters some of them they were commenting underneath chad's videos and they were negative comments and people were twisting what he was saying and i just i just want to remind us all to focus on the big picture. Do you know Chad's heart? Have you been on this journey with him? Have you seen all of his videos? If one video um, upsets you or you think that he means something that he didn't say, if he doesn't say, I no longer believe in once saved, always saved, or if he says once saved, always says it is false, then I understand that you'd be upset. But he never said those things. He is just explaining that there are people who claim to be Christians and because they said a prayer when they were a child and but they've never lived for Christ. They're just they were they at a at a young age said, okay, yeah, sure, I'll accept Jesus. But they didn't mean it. They they just said words, but they didn't there was no conversion. It was just something that they either felt that somebody had um, forced on them or that there was there was nothing in their heart. They didn't confess with their mouth and believe in their heart. They just confessed with their mouth. Do you see the difference? So this this I'm just I just really and truly feel we need unity in the body of Christ. And I say this because I had a dream a couple years ago and I don't remember which dream came first. I think it was, um, I was playing Scrabble with one of my aunts and it was the word unite, U-N-I-T-E, and it was going downwards. It was the first word on the board. And the next night, 
or possibly this was the second night. So I had two dreams. So this was one of two and I don't know which one came first. But then the other dream I had, and there were two days in a row, the other dream I had was um, they were crucifying Jesus again. And I remember um, I was standing on these stairs and there were some people with popcorn and they were watching like this clear, um, this glass and they were looking in and laughing and eating popcorn while Jesus was being crucified. And I said, I can't believe they're they're crucifying Jesus again. And I was crying out and they were laughing. And then they put his body parts, like his torso and his hands and all these things, they were divided. And I remember when I woke up, it made perfect sense to me with both these dreams. God wants his body united, not divided. Hallelujah. The first dream didn't make any sense. Just scrabble pieces unite or united. I don't remember. I'll have to go back. I didn't like go and listen to the video that I made on this before to clarify. I just, I'm just remembering bits and pieces, but if you want that, that united and divided dream is on YouTube as well. Rapture watchers, uh, God wants our body united, not divided, something like that. Um, but yeah, so there are so many scriptures about how we are to be united as a body. Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice, strive for full restoration, encourage one another, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. 2 Corinthians 13, 11. Acts 4, 32, all the believers were one in heart and mind. No one claimed that any other possessions was their own, but they shared everything they had. Ephesians 4, 23, to be made new in the attitude of your minds. Galatians 3, 28, there is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor there is male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. We are all one in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us be of one accord. We have but one mission on this earth, and that is to bring souls to a saving knowledge of Jesus. It is not to be fighting in comment sections. It is not to be looking crazy to the outside world. We need to be looking peaceful. We need to be looking like we have something that they want. They need to look at us and say, I want the peace that they have, but they can't see that peace if we're arguing with one another. The days are crazy. The, our, our lives are chaotic right now. Everything is as the Bible foretold it would be. Jesus is coming soon. Let us be occupying with the time that we have left, brothers and sisters. Galatians 1, 6 through 9, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you unto the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another gospel, but there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you that then that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. First Corinthians fifteen one through four, and this is the gospel. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, but which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you the first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. Brothers and sisters, we are so close. That trumpet's going to sound, the trump of God, might be the voice of God, might be an actual trumpet, I'm not sure, <laughs> um, but uh, we're going to hear it, and it's going to be exciting, and it's going to be the most glorious moment of our existence, and it's going to happen soon, so let's not fight and debate and argue. If you find somebody being disagreeable in the comment section, just say, you know what, God bless you, I'll pray for you, but I, ha I don't have time. I have to save souls for the kingdom. Uh, our time is short. I don't have time to uh, argue or debate theology or, or whatever. We need to, we can, we can, yes, of course, correct someone if they're speaking on mistruths, or, but speak with love and kindness. Remember always to show the fruit of the Spirit spirit. Let them judge you by the fruit. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Galatians 5, 20 through 22 through 23. Memorize this verse or put it on your nightstand or make it your screensaver on your phone. Just make sure that 
when you are speaking to other believers or to unbelievers that you're speaking with the fruit of the spirit show that your faith means something show the world that we are different we're peculiar people they don't see what we see they can't feel what we feel we have the holy spirit living within us sometimes we can see things so clearly but that's because the holy spirit is guiding us and if they don't have the holy spirit within them they will not see what we see but let's show them by our actions by our love towards one another by our love towards them the unbelieving world let us show them our love let us show them the love of christ because if we're just fighting and debating, we don't, we don't look like we're in one accord. We don't look loving. We don't look like we are of Christ, but we are of Christ. So let's shout it from the rooftop, sound the alarm, proclaim the gospel. Jesus is coming. Love you all.